another factor for successful marital relationship and happiness that we learn from Ali and Fatima is what? Please understand this. That Amir al muminin would take part in household chores. This is something that our brothers do not like to listen to. But the traditions tell us in the book Makarim al-Akhlaq that Ali ibn Abi Talib would sweep the floor. He would sieve the pulses in preparation for the cooking of the meal that Sayyidah Fatima would do. And Rasulullah one day came and saw this. He said, oh Ali, no. This is the message for you and I. He said, if a husband helps his wife in the household chores for the sake of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for every hair of his body, grants him palaces in Jannah. An abundant reward on the Day of Judgment. And it works other way. That if the wife serves the husband by presenting a cup of water, Rasulullah says, just a cup of water to the husband in that particular way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants her the reward that was given to Asiya and her patience when it comes to Fir'aun. It works both way, mutual cooperation and understanding of helping each other. Number one. Number two, doing things together. Meaning what? I say to, this, to our brothers and sisters, especially the youth, have activities together, even those, for instance, like a charitable organization or serving the community in, in any capacity. When you work together in such a manner, then you'll be able to come together in this understanding and complement each other in this way. The example of Ali ibn Abi Talib and Sayyidatul Nisa Fatima al Zahra salawatullahi wa salam alayhima. We could continue and speak for many, many other points. I had prepared like 10 or 12 points, but I promise to end with this one. And that is, both of them sought a life of simplicity. Brothers and sisters, the truth hurts. And the truth today is, we are plagued with materialism. I want this, I want that, I want this lifestyle, I want this particular outing, I want this holiday. There is nothing wrong if you have the wealth to be able to enjoy it in a particular way, provided in the halal way, provided you have given your hukuk and what is required, and also at occasions to supply and to help the poor and the needy. But there is that, and there is actually burdening, for instance, the husband or the wife with the responsibilities, with financial responsibilities and burdens. Amir al-Mu'mineen and Sayyidat al-Nisa lived a life of simplicity and they found happiness in simplicity. Because the more complex, the more materialistic, the more attached to this world a relationship becomes, the more likelihood it will break down. Because an individual is seeking materialistic happiness and you will never attain happiness through materialism. Mark these words and perhaps some of you have already established this or know this. That by having a new car or buying a new bag or dress, the pleasure is transient. The pleasure is very much temporary. Then you want something else. You keep looking and looking and looking and you'll never attain the sense of bliss happiness and sense of satisfaction. This qana'a that the Ahlul Bayt salam says, have between you work together to supplement and help each other and not burden each other.